<laughs> which he wrote one Christmas time for his children, published first under the title A Visit from St. Nicholas. Oh, no, my goodness. Well. A good night. What a beautiful story. Willa, come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. Christmas. I think it'd be a lot of fun. And I want to show everyone my beautiful new mug that Blue Waters gave me with Harriet, myself, and Willa. And I'll show you closer. It makes my coffee even better. <laughs> Mm. Thank you for this beautiful mug. It really touched my heart because when I opened it, I had no idea, but I was looking at it and <laughs> it has Willa's little name under her and me and Harriet. And we're all looking at this beautiful mountain with a little campfire. <laughs> I've 
had this book since I was really little. Very excited to read it to you. The night before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now dasher, now dancer, now prancer and vixen, on comet, on cupid, on donner and blitzen to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, ere drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have an amazing Christmas. And one thing to me about Christmas time is the day after, and the day after that, and the day after that, sometimes there's this, you know, slow downward into January. I mean, I know New Year's, New Year's is coming, which is exciting, but I always have kind of a little down slope in my, you know, emotions and mentality after Christmas because it's like such an anticipated day and uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas, um, just beautiful time of year, especially when you have family or friends. I want you to um, 
have such a wonderful um, Christmas and the day after that and the day after that and onward. I mean, I hope that I bring you some comfort and share with you what we're doing here um, on Little Ida's farm, on our farm, on our little homestead. You know, those of us that are alone without family, but we have friends. We have to really work on our friendships. We'll just all help each other. <laughs> I thank you so much, and I just wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Cheers, my friends. <laughs>